Verbal Riot. I don't know if you guys remember this, but at the beginning of the year, I think it was around end of January, maybe, Cat Williams, <laughs> Cat Williams basically just blew up 2024, right? Like, just called everybody out. Like, I, I mean, he he left no stone unturned, okay? And he went after any big name you could think of in the industry, he went after, right? As far as, you know, Black celebrities go. And it's wild to see this man's words, like, coming to fruition right right now with all, all the things that are going on with all these different people, specifically one, and you guys know who I'm about to talk about. But he called all of this. And I... I got to give him props, man. It's it's almost like he's a prophet or something, right? Because he said it himself, you know, this is the year. This is the year that everything will get exposed. And I actually want to get into like that video of Cat Williams right now so that you guys can, uh, if you didn't see the video, if you're one of the few who didn't see it, uh, you're going to see it now. So let's see. The truth is the light. Uh, big deviance is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. TGJ, any of them, the, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, and, and anyone who takes that the wrong way, know why they take it the wrong way. So he literally called Diddy out by name, right? And he said, all lies will be exposed. And this man, there was never more of a truth told than that right there, right? Because, <laughs> man, Diddy is having some problems, y'all. I Look, here, the, the weird thing about this for me, okay, if I'm going to be honest with you, and I'm about to get a little maybe too real right now. Because I feel like this kind of shit has gone on for too long, right? And what I mean by shit, I'm talking about where we know, we know the dirt certain celebra celebrities have gotten into, and we have remained quiet about it. We have said nothing about it. And I'm, and I'm going to talk specifically to black folks at this point, right? Because I get it. I get it. Like, you know, we want to, we want to protect our, 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 our heroes, right? We want to, to celebrate you know, quote unquote, black excellence, right? Like we, we want to put black folks who have made it to the top. You know, we, we want to, we want to give them the flowers, right. That they deserve. Right. So I, I get that, but there comes a point where we got to stop ignoring the obvious that's in our face. Right. Cause to be honest with you, this whole time, people like Diddy, People like R. Kelly, they've been playing in our face this whole time. Y'all know they have been. And, you know, what do we do instead of calling them out? We defend these people. Right? We defend them. I Look, our, our, <laughs> the thing about R. Kelly, right, is we heard about his BS back in the, the early 90s. We knew what kind of dirt he was involved in. And, and, and as long as he kept putting out them bangers, right, putting out those hits, we didn't care. We didn't care. Now, obviously, we couldn't completely prove it either because we didn't have the video or, you know, physical evidence to prove anything. But we all knew that he was into some dirt, right? My thing with Diddy is I have never liked Diddy, ever. And when I heard all the stuff that, he was involved in back in the late 90s early 2000s like none of this stuff now surprises me at all okay i i i quit messing with diddy back when he screwed over craig mack back in the day so i i never liked diddy i've i've liked his artist right like i, I love biggie love craig mack love total love 112 love uh mary J. Love Faith Evans. Love, love all Black Rob. Love all his people. Can't stand him. Never could stand him. But, you know, at the time, I just took it as, well, I don't like the guy, but I can't necessarily say that he's done anything wrong. Right? I heard rumors. We all hear rumors. 
but I couldn't prove anything. But there comes a point, and this, and this applies to even like back with Bill Cosby, right? There comes a point where if you hear enough people who are telling you that this person did this to them, when enough people are basically accusing somebody of something, you know, where there's smoke, there's fire. You get what I'm saying? Like, we, 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 you know, something is up. And there's been more than enough smoke coming from Diddy's camp for decades now. Like, I mean, crazy stuff. Like, like this stuff that, that happened recently, that the, the video that came out that I'm going to show, the video that came out, that was, you know, mild compared to most of the things that I've heard about Diddy. Right. And we've all heard about him. Right. We've we've heard about him like sexually assaulting male rap artist. Right. Like that's out there. That's out there. So none, none of this is shocking to me. Right. And, and, and when Kat exposed all this stuff at the beginning of the year, all the people he was calling out, not one of them was a surprise to me. None of them. Because we've all heard the rumors. We all heard what people have said over the years. And we pretended that it didn't happen, right? Right? Especially when it comes to hip-hop artists or, or R&B artists, right? Because as long as they keep putting out those bangers, we don't care. Or we'll look the other way. As long as those bangers keep coming, right? But look what happened to R. Kelly when he stopped putting out bangers. That's when they finally went after him. That's when the black community finally turned on him, right? Look at Diddy. What, what's the last banger he put out? Now, no one cares. Lock him away, right? See, it, it's, it's sad that it has to come to that point before we decide that these trifling ass dudes are guilty. <laughs> you know what I mean? They are guilty. Now, with Diddy, we just actually have proof of that, right? Like, we uh, look, we all saw that video. I And if you haven't, well, you're about to see it now because I'm going to show, uh, you know, just for those who haven't seen it, I'm going to show you again. And look, I don't do trigger warnings. I'm sorry. If you've been abused and, you know, the video is too much for you, I just advise you look away. That's all. You know, like, I, it, it is what it is. And it, it is hard to watch. I'll give you that. It's hard to watch. I, I, to be honest with you, I, there, there's no topic I hate more than domestic abuse, right? Just on a personal level, I, I, I hate it. I hate talking about it. I hate covering it. I hate everything about it. But it is what it is. So, anyway, here's the video. There we go. Right, yeah. Obtained exclusively by CNN appears to corroborate some of the allegations of abuse against music mogul Sean Diddy Combs. The video, captured on multiple cameras, shows Combs assaulting his then girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, in a hallway at a Los Angeles hotel in March 2016. A lawsuit filed by Ventura in November last year and settled the next day reference actions that seem to match those seen in this video. There is no audio. According to the complaint, Combs became extremely intoxicated and punched Miss Ventura in the face, giving her a black eye, which according to the lawsuit prompted Ventura to try and leave the hotel room. The surveillance video obtained by CNN begins as she enters the hallway. The complaint says as she exited, Mr. Combs awoke and began screaming at Miss Ventura. He followed her into the hallway of the hotel while yelling at her. The complaint goes on to say he grabbed her and then took glass vases in the hallway and threw them at her. In the surveillance video, Combs can be seen grabbing Ventura and throwing her to the ground. As Ventura lies on the ground, Combs then kicks her twice and attempts to drag her on the floor back to the hotel room.
Puffy's a wild boy. And that that is a hard video to watch, man. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe this dude actually chased her down in a towel. Right? Like, like, that's just how far out this dude is right now. And, you know, I... <sighs> I, I I feel bad for Cassie, like I really do. And Cassie, for those who don't know, is a hip, she is a R and B artist. She was on his label, so the power dynamic there, you know, he totally took advantage of that. Obviously, now I'm not saying that she didn't jump at the chance to, you know, be with, you know, a guy who's almost a billionaire and can make her career. Because let's be, you know, let's be adults here, okay? Deals are made all the time. Marriages our deals basically right and that's the deal she made now i don't think she counted on it being that that uh that violent but i think she kind of knew going in right that she knew who she was dealing with you know and, and i think some accountability has to be taken there as well right it wasn't like he was just some guy who was just this nice guy who you know worked at a restaurant or something. I, you know what I mean? Like he wasn't just some regular guy. She knew exactly who he was. All the stuff that happened with Biggie and Pac back in the day, um, Diddy was right there, right? Cassie's pretty young. So she knew who Diddy was going into this situation, right? Now, did she deserve any of that that we just saw? Hell no. Hell no. This dude should be under the jail. He should be... Honestly, he should be like in a Mexican prison, to be honest with you, man, or, or or an Iraqi prison. He should like bread and water, right? Like breaking rocks all day. Like this guy deserves the worst. But she knew going into this what this dude was like. And I hate to say it, man, but this happens to a lot of women who, you know, <laughs> I, 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 you know, it, it, it's the savior sy syndrome, right? It's the... It's the it's the I could change him, I could fix him thing, right? It, it, it's it's this this weird idea that I think some women have that, you know, I'm gonna find a thug with a heart of gold, <laughs> right? Right? He's gonna be thug in every other way except with me. On a personal note, growing up where I grew up in the hood, you know how tired I was of seeing that and hearing about that, right? Like the hottest girls in the hood would always go after the most thuggish of guys, right? Knowing what they were like, right? Knowing exactly what they were, knowing exactly what they would do to them if they got angry. Didn't matter. That's what they wanted. The thug with the heart of gold, right? The unicorn. The unicorn. <laughs> And I'm not laughing at her. I'm just laughing at how stupid that mentality is. I'm, I'm laughing at how ridiculous that, that way of thinking is. That you're going to change a thug, right? And, and don't have any misconceptions here. Diddy is a thug, right? Straight up. If you don't think he had any kind of uh, involvement in Pac's death, you are out of your fucking mind. Guarantee you he did. I think he had a, he had a play in Biggie's death. And, and, and what's crazy to me is not only did he do this to her, knowing, knowing that there's hotel cameras, he knew that there's cameras there. He didn't even care. So what in the hell did he do to her in private when no one was looking, right? When no one was around, what, what does she go through, man? Cause that's, that's him knowing cameras are on him. And, you know, it makes me wonder about his other relationships. You know, he, he had a, the, the mother of his children passed away. I think a year ago, two, year, two years ago, maybe, maybe even longer. I'm not sure, but she passed away. It makes me wonder what she went through with him, right? I mean, I, I, I think the only woman he probably has never put his hands on 
the only woman that he's been with that he's never touched was probably Jennifer Lopez because he knew better. He knew better. There was no way Jennifer Lopez could show up anywhere with a black guy while he was dating her without him being thrown under the prison. You know what I mean? And that's what that, and that's what abusers do, right? They pick on the weak because a strong woman would be, you know, there's no way that would happen. Now, you know, all this is out in the open. Everybody, everyone knows about it, right? So Diddy decided to hop online <laughs> and apologize, not even to Cassie, who he who was being abused in this video, but just I, I don't even know what he's apologizing for if he's not apologizing to her. But I'm gonna show you the video. Difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. Sometimes you got to do that. I was fucked up. I mean, I hit rock bottom. But I made no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video disgusted I was disgusted then when I did it I'm disgusted now I went and I sought out professional help I had to go into therapy and go into rehab I had to ask God for his mercy and grace I'm so sorry Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. I'm sorry. No, not at all. You think for a second he would have apologized before that video came out? For a second? You think he would apologize? He'd, be, he'd even be talking about it? In fact, he was denying everything, him and his lawyer, up until the point where this video came out. He said it wasn't even true. But he got caught in a lie. And now he's apologizing. This is, and, and the craziest thing about this to me is not that it happened, but that he won't face one day of jail time for what he did. You want to know why? Statue of limitations. They run out. Now, I find it a coincidence that the video gets leaked as soon as the limitations run out right that's when it got leaked see what happened was him and his people paid whoever was at that hotel to hide this video of course that's what happened otherwise this video with, with diddy you don't think someone would have leaked this years ago years ago Right. Him and Cassie, they this happened a long time ago, y'all. Like this wasn't even like recent. Like these were some years. So. You're telling me no one leaked it in all those years. Nah. Nah, come on. Come on, man. Like, let, let's 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 stop here. Let's, let's call a spade a spade, shall we? This is wild stuff. And, and like I said, I I. Don't like talking about this stuff, but it's 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 just news right now. It's it's everywhere you look, this conversation is happening. I the only the only shining light in all of this, the only bright spot in all of this is that Cassie, from what I heard, is very happy now. She's uh remarried to a very good guy. She has children with this good guy. She she got her happy ending, right? And, and, and I feel good about that. It sucks that she has to relive all this shit because every news channel, every YouTube station is her channel is playing this, this video, and she has to keep reliving it. And it sucks. But at least she got out, right? Because a lot of women don't get out. 
she got out. Now, what happens to, to, to Diddy? Oh, he's done. Career-wise. For some reason, he's still walking around free. For some weird reason. He still has his freedom. But his career, his reputation, all of that is done. It's, it's good he made all the money he did because he's going to be living off that money for a while. And who's to say that the IRS isn't going to come for that money? And I'm telling you guys, like, like this situation with Cassie, it was one of hundreds of accusations against this man. Right? This isn't the only situation here. Like I said, there are literally charges of, of sexual assault against male hip hop artists and R and B and R and B artists. I'm not gonna mention them by name. Well, no, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna mention one of them. Uh Usher. There's an accusation that he sexually assaulted Usher. Now, will Usher ever ever come out and say that? No. Because as a man, you there there is no, you know, especially in the hip hop world, there's no coming out and saying some other male, you know, raped you or sexually assaulted you. Nah, you you that does that you don't do that in hip hop. No, no artist, no male artist will come forward and say he did that. Because then they have to admit. That he did that. It's just, it's crazy, man. It's, 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 it's a, <laughs> this whole situation is wild. And, but I'm glad it's happening because, like I said, I never, ever cared for Diddy, never liked him, liked his artist. I think he's a piece of shit. I think he ripped off a bunch of his artists. In fact, I know he did. And the fact that, you know, the chickens that come home to roost, good. Oh,